friends. So I'm going to talk real quick about how to create a sidebar for your website. Now, um, I have permission from my friend Michelle to to record how I'm creating her sidebar, and then she may go back and edit it and change it up to how she wants it to look. So a sidebar is basically set content that is going to appear usually over here on the right. Um, you can move it over to the left, but most people sort of expect it to be over on the right. Let's get that over. Um, you can see that this is her like main blog role page, which, which is listing all of her blog posts. And then if I go to an actual blog page, it's still missing the content. It looks a little weird. Um, let me show you an example of one with. So this is my blog, and here is my little sidebar over here that I filled it with various things. And then if you go to one of my actual posts, that same one is there. Um, some people prefer it without, and we can set it to have no sidebar if you want. But if you want to create a sidebar, this is how you would do it. So I'm back in Michelle's dashboard, and you're actually going to go down to Appearance Widgets. When I first started using WordPress, I thought that was the weirdest thing because I was like, there's no mention of sidebars whatsoever. And it took me a while to kind of figure it out. So if you come over here, you're going to see some various areas. Um, you can set up footer areas if you'd like, but right now we're mostly concerned with this sidebar. You can set up multiple sidebars, but that's a little bit more complicated. So right now we're going to start with just setting up one sidebar. So if you open it, you'll see there's nothing there. So widgets are the little areas that you can put in your sidebar. For example, over here I have an image widget to show an image, and I have a text widget to show some text. Um, and then as you go down, I've filled it with various things that I want to put on there. Most people often put um, some sort of logo, whether it's their picture or their logo. So I'm going to start by dragging an image widget up here. And you can give it a title or you can just leave it blank. And then I'm going to select an image. So I'm going to go here to... Um, I'm going to go here to Michelle's logo and just add it right there. And you can link to somewhere. In this case, I don't really need it to link somewhere. If Michelle wants to come in here and change it, she can. So I'm going to click Save. Then let's do... I'm going to go ahead and do an archives post. The This is, um, I'm just going to call it archives, and I'm going to display as a dropdown. You could show post counts. If you don't display as a dropdown, that just means it's going to list out the month and date. Here, I'll see if I can show you the difference. So I'm going to click save, and then watch this. When I reload this page, it automatically appears over there. Very exciting. Um, I'm going to let Michelle come back and choose what she wants to do. I'm going to leave it as a drop down right now. <clears throat> and then a lot of people do categories as well. If you put in categories, then um, like if somebody wanted to search in her case, maybe blog post on pitch, then she could find one. I'm going to display drop down and I'm going to show hierarchy. That means if you have subcategories. And then you could also do tags if you tagged your posts. Um, you could do text if you want to do a little, like if I wanted to do a little text introduction. So I'm going to go here. And I'm not going to put a title, but I am just going to write, this is the blog with Here you will find resources and ideas to help you take out your nights and weekends. That's kind of her tagline. Now, if Michelle, if you ever watching this, you might want to go back and edit that and make it sound like you, or you can completely delete it if you want. So I'm going to click done right there. Um, and then you could just come in here and just add various things. For example, um, I'm going to add a, what's called the Monarch Follow widget. And I'll show you what that is. That's a particular plugin. So I'm going to put that underneath the little introduction. Instead of follow, how about connect with me? So you'll notice there's nothing to style here. In this case, this was the monarch widget, which I'm going to drag in here and show you. Ooh, that didn't drag so well. Okay, so this is actually under the monarch, the tools monarch settings. This is a 
This is the social share plugin. And if you just go to widget, then you can make it how you want. In this case, I chose circle, um, centered, auto width. I chose her brand custom colors and I'm gonna click save changes. And if you go to networks, it'll show you which network. And um, she's already added some networks in here, I believe. Yep, she's got her LinkedIn page. And if she wants to come and add more, she can. So that's all good. I'm gonna click save changes. And then if I go here and I reload, this post, then ta-da! So that's just a basic to get you started because it's better to have something there and then to have, you know, blank white space, I believe. Um, reach out to me if you just want to take it out. And if you want to style these headings, like let's say you want to center and bold it, you're going to have to use a little bit of what's called CSS, and I can totally help you with this. So go to Divi and Theme Options. You're going to scroll down, and you're probably going to see some CSS that I've already, I've already styled there. Now, teaching you CSS is beyond the um, scope of this particular tutorial, so I'm just going to show you real quick um, a way to center it and bold it. And feel free to just copy this. So I've targeted the widget title and I told it to text align center and I did a font weight of 500 and you can see that it has centered it and made it a little bolder. If you wanted, if you wanted it to be like super bold, you could go higher, but be careful because it can get kind of crazy. All right, so that little green check mark says it's done loading. See, that doesn't look so great. I mean, I wanted it to be a little emphasized, but you can get a little crazy. So I'm gonna go back to 500. So real quick, I know there was a jump here. I'm sorry about that. Um, I made a quick change. So I said icon placement centered and I tried auto width, but it still kind of left a line. So I chose the number of columns based on the number of icons I have. So I did four, hit save, changes. And then um, you'll see that it kind of centered this right here. So that's a basic blog sidebar. Um, if you go to the main blog page, you'll see it's over on the right as well. Same thing. Now some other widgets you can add um, just kind of depends on what plugins you have and what you want it to show up. Um, you could do an image gallery. She could add a, a sign up form for Miller Lite. Um, she could have a list of her site pages. Um, you could add Pinterest widgets. You could do search, text, all sorts of things. Um, and active widgets are ones that you've sort of set up, but you decided that you didn't really want to um, use, but you wanted to save their settings, so you just kind of pull it over there. So that is how to create a very basic sidebar. Um, reach out to me if you have any questions.